We, we see as, as a positive uh, that the court is, is promoting uh, a mediation process. Um, in terms of the substance, um, in, in our view, uh, we think that any proposed plan of adjustment uh, to restructure PREP as debt has to take into account the following. One, um, consider the complicated environment in which PREPA operates, uh, the Puerto Rican economy, Puerto Rican society, uh, Puerto Rico's uh, poverty levels, all those things need to be taken into account. Number two, um, the end result has to be a, a PREPA that is restructured, that is solvent, that, that is uh, at least on a balance sheet basis, um, uh, you know, demonstrate solvency and, uh, and that can go forward as, as the going concern. Uh, that means in terms, number three, that the reduction in PREPA's total obligation uh, uh, has to be, total debt has to be by at least 44% on average. And I emphasize on average uh, because uh, the impairment of each creditor class is precisely uh, the subject of what of the mediation process that that will start right now. So that that reduction will be apportioned in different ways and in different manners among and between the creditors. Uh, but the minimum, and I, I repeat, the minimum uh, requirement to keep Prepa uh, as as a solvent entity is forty four percent. And given everything that's going on in the world, probably will have to be higher than that, given our dependence on fossil fuel, uh, natural gas, and and oil. Um, we also believe that any new debt that uh, is to be issued uh, uh, as part of this transaction should be based on a net revenue uh, lien on PREPAS revenues and should not be uh, secure, utilizing the securitization structure uh, that was proposed for the prior RFAs. Uh, because we think, one, uh, the, the concessions that the bondholders had offered to uh, PREPA and the government of Puerto Rico were not sufficient to uh, to support uh, that upgrade in the collateral package. And number two, uh, usually in these processes, it's our understanding from talking to bankruptcy lawyers uh, that uh, this kind of uh, collateral upgrade is, is only given to entities that put uh, what's called new money uh, on the table uh, so the company can keep operating uh, through the bankruptcy process and that has not been the case uh, in the case of PREPA. And finally, uh, we, we think that uh, one of the objectives should be to minimize any rate increases needed to pay off debt. Uh, unfortunately, uh, given the operations, PREPA operations and the, and the state of the transmission and distribution system and the age of the generation plants, uh, it's highly unlikely that PREPA will be able to generate uh, sufficient savings in the short term to compensate for any uh, any payments that need to be made to the bondholders. Uh, what we're saying is that uh, that amount by which you know uh, our uh, rates go up should be the minimum possible uh, to pay off the debt and to keep PREPA operating uh, because the, sta the, the status of the economy of Puerto Rico is, is still fairly weak. And, and we know that there's a lot of capital investment that needs to be done in, in PREPA uh, to keep it as, as a going concern uh, into the future.